from one home's kitchen to another's dining table. That's what a new food delivery app is offering Torontonians looking for authentic cuisine from around the world. Every food that I make, I put a lot of love. So when people eat, they feel that love. Lots of cheese. Natasha Coagliato is from Brazil with Italian heritage and among the first chefs to sign up on Cookin. She works in the restaurant industry but is also a seasoned home chef, passionate about sharing the food of her culture as well as giving fellow Brazilians a taste of home. As an immigrant, we miss a lot of family. We, lo we miss... Sorry. It's okay. I'm okay. <laughs> we miss a lot back home so they can provide people having this experience that they used to have back home. I think this is helps a lot all of the homemade chefs uh, to sell the food and sell uh, what they love to do. The idea is these individuals can focus just on cooking, doing what they love and what they're incredibly good at, and we take care of everything else. The packaging, the marketing, the delivery, the customer service. Co-founder and CEO Morley Ivers says the goal is to facilitate channeling a passion into a source of income, with chefs keeping up to 85% of the revenue. They have a, a great gift and talent in life, which is making food, but they aspire towards becoming a small business owner, to becoming an entrepreneur. For every order placed on the app, the company will also be making a charitable donation. We're taking it out of our profit at Cookin to make a donation to The Stop, which is a local nonprofit that is working to you know, solve the challenge of food insecurity. The app requires food providers to have an Ontario food handler certificate, and they must pass regular virtual inspections of their home kitchen. And if they're not set up to cook from home or prefer not to, the company provides access to a commercial kitchen. The space alone is a big, big factor. Again, a lot of home cooks are in tiny spots, condos. So it's a good, lot way to branch out more, use this space, see what it is to operate on a restaurant level. Pilar Walsh worked in the restaurant industry for 14 years and was among those laid off during the pandemic. During the pandemic, I did start doing cooking for a bunch of people in the neighborhood and anyone that wanted to buy the food. Um, I kept doing that for the next two years and then when I heard about cooking, I was like, this could be a great experience for me to showcase what I can offer. Walsh's background is Jamaican and she serves up Memphis-style barbecue from scratch. The spice rubs is made by, by me, barbecue sauce is made by me. Anyone that's tried my food, they love it, they want to see it be a mass big production thing and I think this is the best start for me. Now the app is currently available in Toronto and will be available in more cities in the coming months. Until then, I'm going to dig in. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman. Oh my God, so good. <laughs>